Hey, I woke up this morning and was totally not in the mood to write. I was just like, not feeling great, all that. But I decided to cook my breakfast, which is like when we have uh, when we have spinach and eggs. I like to make breakfast burritos. And we had potatoes today too, so I made like a big batch. And I do the eggs last. And when I got to the last egg that we had in the curtain, and it was the fourth egg, which I usually do four, it cracked open and it was pink inside and it had like a little veiny type thing I was like what I've never seen a pink egg white before and so I I uh, googled and um anyways all this happened and Google was like oh my gosh you're gonna die and like see he's on the floor I was like oh my gosh I'm freaked out so I texted my dad and my husband and asked them like what I should do and my dad's like oh it's fine no big deal so anyways why I'm telling you this for this blog vlog 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 so why I'm telling you this is that sorry I'm just like bleh, um was that's what I wrote about and it was completely irrelevant to like the idea I have for my story but in I'm looking at the book actually I love this book it's my ah got caught in the cord Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott is my favorite book ever. It's, like, a good book about writing. But she talks about, like, writing what you know and just, like, writing short stories and uh, writing things that happen and writing every detail down. And I think the egg story, because there's some other stuff that went with it, um, was a good fit. So I did it. Um, yeah. That's, I did, uh, 1,300 words. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, 1,140 words. So that's my first session for the day. I'll probably try to do one this afternoon and then maybe one in the evening. I don't know. I don't know. Today might be a low word count day and that's okay with me. But I will see y'all later. Hey guys, so it's day 3, 2.54 a.m. and I just wrote another 1,243 words, which puts me at 9,398 words. I'm super excited about that, you guys. Like, um, one of the cool things about doing this is that I really just wanted to get back in the habit of writing and it's way easier than I expected it to be. And I don't I don't think it'll be this easy throughout the whole thing, but it's just been a lot of fun and it's been really good to just like start processing through my thoughts and like all these things I've been wanting to write for so long and I haven't. Um, it's been awesome. I'm really, really excited for it. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm doing NaNoWriMo. I'm excited to see where it's going. And I haven't really talked a lot about what I want to write, but what what I'm thinking is doing a series of short stories that will eventually turn into, um, not short stories necessarily, but like travel stories, adventure stories, like moral stories, those types of things, that will eventually turn into some sort of book that comes together with an overarching, overarching, overarching theme, uh, kind of in the style of Anne Lamott's Bird by Bird. That's like been my favorite book since I was in high school, and it still is one of my favorites. Uh, so kind of in that style, but um, rather than dealing with like writing in life, it'd be more about like art and life and creation creating things and also working with people and how working with people and like traveling and working with people from different cultures even in your own community you learn all of these things about who you are and what how people like the more I travel and the more I learn about other countries and other people and the more I see that like we're all the same and so it's but I also at the same time like well I see that we're all more sim like we're all so similar we also have very unique beautiful differences that need to be appreciated so it's like this we're the same and we're different and I'm seeing like more differences and more similarities. And so it's those two ideas coming together. Um, yeah, I don't know where it's going to be, where it's going to go. I don't think it'll be like a normal novel. I don't even, I don't know genre. So maybe that's helpful. Maybe it's harmful. Most people probably agree, argue it's harmful. But I also like that because I don't feel constrained to say that I'm writing a novel in this genre. I'm writing whatever. Like I'm writing short stories that are somewhat uh, memoir-ish, somewhat encouraging, somewhat inspiring, I hope. I and mean, that's my goal. So that's, um, yeah, like I said, I don't really know exactly where it's going, but that's my goal. So it's a little bit longer. Um, yay! I just hit 10,000 words. I typed like 650-something, and it was 10,000. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, that's all. I may be done for tonight. I don't know. May I check in one more time. So it's the beginning of day four, and I fell asleep really early last night. So I didn't get to add more words, but I'm going to do some reading this morning, and then do some writing, and then go do some other work that I have to do, and then... <laughs> 
do some writing for something else, and then maybe when I get home late tonight, which will probably be like 9 or 10, uh, I will have time to do more writing. Today may be a low word count day. I don't know. Days, days surprise me. I just did 1,230 words for a total of 11,280 words. Good night. I didn't write anymore. It's possible that I will, but I'll count it tomorrow if I do. See you in the morning.